Hello, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper at RadioPreppers.com. You probably have one of these, or something similar. Maybe a Bofeng or Hushan, or I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, maybe an FRS radio or PMR for Europeans. I'm going to show you how to extend the range of these radios and how to use them correctly, because a lot of people uh, just don't know how to uh, use them the right way. Um, and we'll start with uh, the range uh, related to height. Height is your friend. I'm going to show you uh, here on a little drawing. Usually people think that uh, what regulates your range basically is the power of the radio. So they'll try to buy the, the most powerful radio they can get and that's why we see now uh, handhelds that uh, output 10 watts. And it's not very useful uh, it, because it's not the main problem. The problem is the curvature of the earth. You wouldn't think it's a big factor, but it is because uh, it shows up uh, uh, even at very short distances. If you have two people, I'm not, a, I'm not an artist. <laughs> Uh, so about, you know, six feet tall on a plane somewhere. As soon as you get to about, you know, you have the radio waves, of course, going in a straight line. Boom. Can't make contact. And that happens at about, you know, five to seven miles, probably about seven miles. Of course, the range can be much lower if they are... Uh, woods in between, or a city, or buildings, or a hill, of course, uh, anything like that. So, <laughs> the best way to extend the range of your handheld radios is to get higher. And I don't know, maybe it's a, it's a tree, or... A, well, I told you. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's a tree, uh, I don't know, here I'm on a, uh, a fourth floor apartment, so of, co uh, of course I get uh, uh, a lot of range. Um, with uh, the radios I showed you before, of course with a longer antenna, I get about uh, 10 kilometers from someone on the ground to someone in the on the fourth floor here so and that's because of course the radio waves going in a straight line can go directly to the recipient here and here we have a path so uh, this is my tip number one height is your friend get higher and you'll make contact well, I told myself I wasn't going to go on camera today because I got up recently. But I need to show you something. You've seen a lot of people use these like this. You know, and, and someone on the other end is going to be using it like this. And that's a big problem. Because the um, electric field component of the electromagnetic uh, waves is going like this vertically it's vertically polarized if I put the antenna like this it's horizontally polarized and you have a lot of losses doing that um, what you want to do is either you both use the radio like this or you both use it like this now what you have to consider also is that if you use the radio like this, the radio waves travel perpendicular to the antenna, which means that here with the antenna vertical, they're going to go all around. It's called omnidirectional. If you put the antenna horizontally, the radio waves will travel again perpendicular to the antenna, so it's mostly going to be in this direction and behind me. 
if I want to send my signal over there, well, I need to do this. It doesn't work too well. Um, so hold your radio like this, not like this. And make sure everybody knows that that's the way to go. You see this handheld radio? Well, it's missing something. Uh, and I'll explain it to you because you can add that on and it would greatly extend the range of your uh, radio. See this antenna here? Okay, this radio operates uh, mostly around 430 to 400, and, you know, well, the limit is 400, I think, to 480 megahertz. Uh, the wavelength of that frequency is about 70 centimeters. And 70 centimeters, well, it's longer than the antenna here, but ideally, most antennas need to be a half wavelength long. So, uh, for instance, if I use VHF, which is a 144 megahertz, that's how many cycles per second the waves uh, does, the ideal antenna length is one meter, which is about three feet. Of course, most of these handhelds, <laughs> you look at the antenna, it's not three feet long. So there is a problem there. But what they do basically is that this is supposed to be a quarter wave. I hope it's not getting confusing, but uh, because, okay, if I have um, a wavelength on 70 centimeters and the antenna has to be a half wavelength, that would be um, 17 and a half. No, that, that would be a quarter. That would be about 35 centimeters. Okay, which might be from here, the tip of the antenna, to the bottom of the radio, but not quite. Here you have a half of the antenna, and supposedly this is the radio itself, the case of the radio, which is made of metal, is the other half of the antenna. So you have a quarter wave here and a quarter wave here and it's fed in the middle okay I can show you this on the other one here I'm going to take the antenna off I hope the camera will focus yes and you can see here that uh, you can look at the antenna connector and you'll notice that you have the center of the plug here and then you have the ring around here. Uh, the ring around here is the ground, basically. It's the case of the radio is connected to that. The center is basically mm, the hot lead, <laughs> so to speak. Um, so again, you need an antenna that is about half a wavelength long. So this part here is a quarter wave, just about. The manufacturers count on the body of the antenna to be the other quarter wave that makes a half wave. But they're not going to make a longer radio just, just to serve that purpose. So basically, they just do nothing. <laughs> because it's, well, it's about, you know, good enough. But is it really? I think it isn't. So what you can do is that, well, you need to add something here so that you have a quarter wave here and a quarter wave here too. And it's hot. But this is how you do it. Um, you turn your radio around and you're going to take off the clip. Now you need to make sure that um, you verify that the clip mount, which is a little uh, 
metal plate here under is connected to the ring around your antenna connector. So you take a multimeter, an ohm meter, you measure if there is a connection between the ring here and the battery clip, no, not the battery, the radio clip holder, right there. And on most radios, uh, it is connected. For instance, on the Bofeng uh, UV5R Plus that I have, it's connected as well. On these TYT radios, it's connected as well. So what you're going to do, you're going to uh, get a little piece of electrical wire and you're going to cut it uh, to a quarter wave. So um, that depends of, on the radio you have, of course. This is UHF, so it's 430 megahertz. Uh, if you have a VHF radio, it's going to be uh, 144 megahertz. So uh, uh, 430 megahertz is uh, 70 centimeters. You take a quarter of that, about 17.5 centimeters. I don't know exactly in inches right now, but it's, well, it's about as long as this antenna anyway. So you need to attach this wire to the to the clip, to, to the metal plate on the battery clip, and just let it dangle there. And you wouldn't think that would make a big difference, but I, I'm telling you, it's huge. Uh, when I had a radio that had a, a, a bar graph, an S meter for the that shows you the, the signal you receive, I got three more bars just by doing that. And you will extend your range uh, dramatically by adding this just just a little piece of wire here. If you are using a radio that is both VHF and UHF, just cut the wire for VHF. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, it's going to help on UHF anyway. Uh, probably a bit less, but that's okay. Um, so there you go. Uh, tip number three. Add what we call a rat tail to your handheld of a quarter wave long and you'll dramatically uh, increase your performance. Of course, the best way to extend the range of these radios is to use an antenna that is not necessarily longer, but cut to the correct length. Uh, you buy them anywhere, you know, online, on eBay. Um, you can look for a dual band VHF, UHF antenna, and you connect it to the, uh, it's often an SMA connector here. Uh, for instance, TYT has uh, an SMA female connector and Bofeng has uh, an SMA male connector. So you have to make sure you get the uh, correct adapter. Once you get your uh, commercial or uh, you know homemade uh, antenna, you just put it uh, higher on a mast uh, with a piece of uh, coax cable and there you go. You can extend the range. Uh, greatly like this. Uh, you can even buy uh, directional antennas, Yagi, uh, for instance, um, or even Quad or something like that. But this is beyond the scope of this uh, video. I just wanted to show you three easy ways to extend your range with these radios. And uh, there you have it. Um, have fun. Have a good one.